Hello to all my people, and I'm going to be commentating this OLT series for you. Uh, you know, we got we got uh, Ojama, the kingpin, used in some Venus Steel of Balance. Shout out to my boy, Patlop2307, and we got Empa rocking with some probably Life Orb Kiram, Coco, Cartana-type bulky offense. Anyways, let's hop into it. Um, well, okay, one thing. Doc Rich recorded this live, but he started at turn 21, I think. Um, so I'm going to be recording the replay for the first 20 something turns. And then I'm going to switch over to the, uh, live recorded version. It's still going to be me commentating, but I don't know. You, you get it. You guys are not stupid anyways, but I'm going to play it on slow and yeah, let's get it popping. And then like when I switch over to the real game, it's just going to be, you know, how, however fast they go is how fast it's going to be. So we got Clef Coco matching up, duking it out. Uh, you know, T bolt us over half, but you know, Ojama's gonna match that with some rocks, try to get some innocent pressure up on that Kiram, which is obviously the biggest threat to his team. I would say that um, Empo sort of has the matchup advantage just because of how big of a threat that Life Orb Kiram is. So you see his Zygarde come out, you know, absorbs that T bolt real well. That did literally zero, you know, ground types and all. Um, so that's going to force the, um, force the Coco out and we're going to see a nice Lander Asterian formation, the big dog himself. Um, so SmackDown literally does zero because these are like the sub protect versions on this team and, uh, Empo, this is his only rocker. So that's probably what he's going to click right here, you know, get up his own stealth rocks. So now we see a Gren probably going to force this, uh, thing out and go to a Toxapex. You know, that seems like the number one fucking counter for Gren on this team. The only counter, really. So it is Protein Greninja. He does get up his spike, you know. It could be it could be a Scarf. It could be Scarf Spikes, you know. It could be just regular Expert Bell. It could be whatever. Who knows? This game is wild. Wild game of Pokemon. So, uh, Ojama takes this time to get his Clef out. You know, heal it back up after taking that T-Bolt from a Coco. And, uh, you know, Empo, knowing this, he's going to try to take advantage, switch out, bring in a threat like Cartana. Looking at the team, to me, this looks like Scarf Cartana, but obviously, you know, Z-Move is a very viable set as well. Um, ooh, Defog. Probably Scarf Defog, I guess. That's a cool set. But Jama expertly predicts the defog and stays in to do a nice 50% with a moon blast to weak ass Cartana. Um, so huge advantage for Ojama right here, especially if he's locked into defog, which it appears he is. And we see Empo go to Coco. Um, Ojama makes another really good play and gets up his rocks once again to keep pressure up on that Kiram because that is the uh, biggest threat to this team. Probably the biggest threat you can imagine to a team like this is life orb Kiram. Anyways, Ojama goes to Venu. Um, Empo really this uh, this Venu is a huge threat too because all he can really go to is Toxapex, and it's not like Toxapex like beats it. It can all it can really do is annoy the shit out of it by burning it. Um, so Sludge Bomb does nothing even with a crit, and um, we'll probably see Ojama maybe switch out here, go to something to try to advantage take advantage of the Toxapex. But instead, we just see a e Earthquake, which does a nice. About a third, not a third after leftovers, but almost. Um, and yeah, so Empo, Empo does not switch out, at least not yet, but Ojama does, and he goes to his clef. Um, Empo does switch out. Okay, a Sizz. Maybe he's thinking because he has Earthquake, he might not have HP Fire. Um, but obviously advantage Empo here and, you know, uh, the Clef is going to switch out and the Venu is going to come back in and absorb the T-Spike. Obviously Ojama does not want thing like, like, like the Mew and the Zygarde are definitely neutered big time by the T-Spike. So obviously the sooner Ojama can get that out of the way, the better for him. Um, anyways, we see a nice U-turn and he takes advantage that brings in the biggest threat of possibly imagine on the obvious synth from Ojama. Ojama has to switch out here. 
you think maybe with Noel or Trichurini, you go Celestila, if it's Spadef especially, but he opts to go to the Mew. This is probably going to take about half. 52%. Ooh, baby. A freeze. That's really tough for Ojama, especially if he's fast. Like, he could threaten this out with a Wisp, potentially. That's really unfortunate. And he is he's max speed, probably, I'm guessing. And while wow, that only did 46 this next time, rolls are crazy, but... um. Yeah, this is that's really that's really shitty for Ojama because um, especially if he was like think especially if he could bluff Empo and thinking he was like slower Mewtwo, getting a whip spot fight there would be really huge, and like would essentially neuter the only thing that could break uh, Ojama's team potentially. So now we have a dead Mew, um, and we have a ninety percent. L-O-K-B on the prowl. Ojama goes to his cleft. Basically, you got to force out this Kiram because, uh, yeah, you don't want to just take a Moon Blast for no reason. Um, obviously, go to the Sizz, which is, you know, really good cleft counter. And Ojama makes an expert prediction on that and goes to his Celesteela. Celesteela is going to be really annoying to Empo's team, too, because it's just going to seed everything and uh, Empo really has no good answer to this. Like, obviously, Toxapex, like Toxapex does, can sort of just sit in the face of anything and eat hits and regen them off. But, like, all he can do is sort of hope and fish for burns, which is not really the ideal strategy. Okay, should I gotta switch over to Doc Rich's other video? If I. If I didn't mention this, Doc Rich recorded this live also. Um, yeah, okay, so I might have just skipped the turn there, but you know, you guys are just gonna have to grow up. So, so Jama switched to his Gren. Now we got a Gren on Toxapex shit going on. He just flinched the Toxapex, even though it walled. Um, yeah, so now he's just, I'm not sure if he's locked in a Dark Pulse or not fucking paying attention. What? Now, he's either Scarf and locked in a Dark Pulse, or he's going to be threatened out by uh, the Coco outspeeding it. So he's going to have to either go into his Venu or his Zygarde. So we'll see what happens. Um, uh, you know. All right, now, see, now, I'm, like, having to, like, talk 100 miles an hour watching the replay, and now it's just, like, this is so slow. What, what's it going see? Chat. So he does go to Venusaur. Um, Empo takes that time to roof. You know, probably a good idea to keep his Coco healthy. It's a really big threat to his team if he could ever get rid of this uh, ye old Venusaur. But once again, uh, Empo does not have a good answer to his Venusaur, especially because he revealed that it's Earthquake. Uh, earthquake. What's it called? Earthquake meaning. Did he, did he reveal if he's HP fire or not? I, mean, I don't know. But anyways, he brings out the, the uh, what's it, what's him to call it, the Tox effects, and he just takes an EQ to the face, which is obviously he's going to switch out, and Ojama predicts that and makes a double. Um, he opts to not stay in with his uh, Sizz. I, I don't know what he was like. Like, I guess he just wanted to keep the Sizz healthy potentially, but, you know, could have maybe picked up a kill there. Uh, with U-turn, but we'll, we'll never know. Maybe I'm just bad. Probably I'm just bad. But anyways, Empo looks like he made a nice double there um, uh, and got his Kartana in on its last switch in to get a, a Suicide Defog and Ojama reveals that he is in fact hidden power fire and kills off the um, Kartana. Now, this Venusaur is a fucking massive threat, obviously, but uh, uh, now that the big boy L-O-K-B is back in, looking to do some damage. He has a sack here, right? I guess if he goes, like, if Steel, if he gets a Steel in on an Ice Beam, like, he probably lives. Like, if you're, if you're Empo, you, you never click Fusion Bolt here, do you? Like, that's way too risky. But I mean, at the same time, like, Ojum was never staying in there. That'd be way too wild of a play. Look at, look at all these motherfuckers saying Kingpin. Y'all are wild, bruh. Y'all really are wild. 
Like, I get that it's a meme, but it's like, damn. Anyways, so obviously not wanting to stay in and eat a heavy slam to the dome. Uh, we see young Versace go out to his lander hysterian formation, probably to take this opportunity to get up his stealth rocks, and Ojama stays in to sort of get his Celesteela some health back. Uh, expert prediction, you know, with the devil seeds, obviously, uh, a defensive landers can't really touch the Celesteela, but you know, should be like that sometimes. I would have triple seeded it right there, but I'm also good as hell, so what can you do? Uh, the, yeah, the protect there, um, you know, it, you know, it'd be like that sometimes, but anyways, obviously, Ampo was doubling to the, the reason why he doubled it. I'm not going to say it's obvious that he was doubling. The reason why he doubled was to try to catch the, uh, incoming Venusaur, but um, either way it worked out for him because now he has a electric terrain boosted fusion bolt. Is this kill? Well, like if this doesn't kill us, it's kind of a wild play, but I don't know. I mean, like this is like the like what you would like best case scenario, right? Maybe maybe Clef is a better case scenario, but like a full health Celestialis, like it like in on the Caillou B, like. Like, that's what you want, really, I guess. Okay, so he goes to Venu. Let's say, wait, what? Shit is breezy. So, obviously, he's switching out again. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a nice play, I guess. Keep that was, that was a nice little series of plays. Kind of wild, but a nice little series of plays. Um, so, now Gren does get up to Spike. Keeping up that pressure. Obviously... Uh, he probably wants the, the stealth rocks out more than the spike, but it's nice to, you know, match, match, um, a hazard with a hazard. Yeah, dude, I, I, I can't be talking this long, dude. Talk, like, I don't know how Doc Ridge does this all the time. This shit is crazy. My mouth is tired, bro. Pause. But, uh, yeah, this shit is wild. Anyway, so it is revealed to be Scarf Gran, and he does set up another spike. So two spikes for uh, Mr. Ojama, and a Stealth Rock for Young Empo. And so after the spike, he just goes down to a D Gleam. So D Gleam Roost T Bolt probably con lined, I guess. Maybe it, it, it probably not HP Ice. You know, I guess it maybe could be HP Fire. But he does reveal the con lined right here on the cleft. While uh, Mister Ojama sets up his rocks, and isn't the isn't the Venu like low as hell? Like this this looks like it's some it's a, a GG to me right here. Like isn't isn't the Venusaur at like twenty something percent? Wrap it up, baby. Yeah, that, that's right. So uh, he snacks that that uh, moon blast. Uh, I guess oh, I just oh Jama just has to hope for like a million drops right here, and we see it's a twinkle tackle variant, and he blows that fucking cliff off the screen. The Zygarde comes out, hop, hoping he can take this. That's it. So, so obviously trying to inch back to full health with the protect, see, hoping he can take it, but that is not the case. Uh, this is this is wait wait. Okay, I just sound like I have like fucking a disease, but yeah, I did not think that would. I did not think that would live. That is wild that that lived. But anyways, uh, yeah, now this Venus tour is at full health, and he has all his motherfucking hazards up. Like this shit, this shit is about to get popping for real. Like this Venus tour can like fucking like six zero, or like reverse six zero. I guess I don't know reverse five zero. Who, who the fuck knows? What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, so I guess he has to, he either has that BP or U-turn here. Like, I guess you just U-turn for maximum damage and go into your pecs. If I'm, if you're, if you're Ojama right here, if you don't EQ, you're bad. Oh my god, he's so bad. Um, yeah, okay. So now the Kyrim comes out, uh, yeah, if, Oh, wow, he roosts, trying to mid-ground it, and Ojama literally makes the most wild play on Earth and fucking sludge bombs. That's crazy. It's a good-ass play, though. And he gets rewarded for his good-ass play with fucking, uh, uh, what's it called? With the poison. Definitely, definitely deserve that poison after the freeze. So, things look like they're sort of in, uh, Ojama's favor a little bit right now. 
probably want to save this, right? Uh, save this Kiram. Just because, like, worst case scenario, you can get a fusion bolt off on the Celesteela, but without it, I don't think you can, like, uh, you might be able to PP stall it with Pex, but uh, otherwise that Venusaur just, like, crushes your team, man. I mean, I guess the Pex can probably PP stall it, especially because of his, like, last mon, uh, Venu, you can just, like, get a bunch of Intimidates off it, on it, and then, like, EQ's really doing nothing. So, um, Venu, you know, back in, pro force, obviously forcing this, uh, Pex out, because it's in EQ range, and he does go to the, um, the Lander Asterian formation, gets an Intimidate off, now shit's popping, full health Venusaur. What do you, what do you, I guess you probably go back to Pex here and, um, get to PP Stone again, like, you want to save the Intimidate, you can't go, you can't really go hard into anything else. So, Ojama predicts that probably, okay, yeah, straight up U-turns, I guess, but, um, I guess since he didn't, I don't think he revealed U-turn until then, did he? So he probably didn't predict a U-turn and just straight, and thought he would just straight double into the Pex and was trying to get some seeds off right there. And uh, retain PP on his uh, Venu. That's what he's probably trying to do right there. Anyway, so now uh, Empo is, has a pretty good situation right now, I guess, or better than it was. Um, unfortunately, this Venusaur is a fucking hard wall to this Coco. Like, he really don't stand a chance. So he goes and he, uh, he I guess he predicts the EQ right there and hops into his Lander Asterian formation. Um, he, he U-turns, you know, trying to keep, trying to keep the Intimidate fodder, um, goes into Pex now, uh, if he EQ'd right there, that would have been wild, but, uh, you know, makes the safe play with the Synth, uh, I think, I think Empo wins this, because he's just gonna be able to PP stall it, uh, PP stall the Venu, eventually, and uh, he's going to be able to start getting some burns. Speak of the devil. Oh my god, I'm clairvoyant. Anyways, uh, you know, you guys you guys can see what's happening. You don't need me to fucking commentate fucking PP stalling. I'm just going to... You know, get ready for game two. Mentally prepare myself for game two. Look at my phone a little. Probably drink some water right now. So boring, bro. Holy shit. This is why I stopped playing this game. I'm not real. No, I'm just kidding. I stopped playing this game because I'm bad. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to say, man. This shit is just like obvious, like that. Uh, Ojama gets PP stalled. So, how much longer is this? Is that? Oh my god, there's like ten more minutes. No fucking way. <laughs> this is so sad, bro. Like, like, literally, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how he, like, what he thinks he's gonna be able to do, man. Because he's gonna run out of seeds eventually. Like, all he needs to do is what? Let this thing die, right? Yeah. Well, this dies, and then you go to Kiram, right? You go to Kiram here, or am I bad? Yeah. Because now you just, like, basically pick one up. I think. Wait. You got it. Is this, like, a 50-50? No. You just... Uh, I mean, fuck. You have to... I might, I, I'm ice beaming here. I'm fucking ice beaming here. I don't even know if this is like I'm not thinking right now. 
But I don't know if this is like an obvious turn or not, but I'm putting Ice Beam right here, 100%. Alright, let's see Because it's like, you can probably stall out both of them with the Toxapex if you want. But it's just like, obviously no one in their fucking mind wants to do that. I'd rather die, but... So like, making this prediction right would be nice. Well, it depends what the Venusaur is at. Like, if the Venusaur is at like 20, I guess you could just Fusion Bolt, but... Oh, I guess like Roost, you could also Roost you. Like, this is just like, who, who knows what's gonna happen on this turn. This shit is wild. Dude, why is this person fucking... This person just tweeted some of the laughing emoji faces at me. Like, what, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? Anyways, obviously these boys... Ooh, so the, the roost in a seed. Wow, I did not expect to see so... I don't, I don't get seeds there. Why is seeds in the play? Someone, someone needs to explain that to me. Leave a comment below if you want to explain that seeds play to me. Uh, what gets so dirty to me? Is, is Kiram's black item revealed? What do you, what do you think, bro? Are you, are you fucking stupid? Like, you think, you think this Kiram black is not gonna be packing the life orb? Are you fucking dumb? Oh my god. This is, this shit is just sad, bro. Like, like, the, what do you, like, why is seeds to play there? Like, what do you think, he's gonna go to Pex? And, like, like wouldn't that shit die to hazards? Like, that boy, that boy was, he, if you predict, like, what? Why, what? I'm so, I'm tripping so hard right now. I am absolutely bugging out right now. He does, maybe he doesn't have heavy slam. I was, I'm not paying attention. So what do you show? Roost, seeds, flamethrower, and... Dude, did I get... He like, what? I am absolutely tripped out right now. If this is no, not heavy slam... Like, did he show his other move, or am I just, like, like fucking stupid? <laughs> this commentary is so ass, bro, but, like, also, if you're watching, if you're, like, watching, like, a fucking three-week-old fucking OLT series, like, now, like, and, and clicking on this video, like, what are you, what are you doing with your life? Talk to me. Talk to me about what you're doing with your life if you're clicking on this video right now. Shit is crazy. Or 24 minutes in and you're trying to watch this this shit. You're wild. You are absolutely wild. Anyways, he fusion bolts to sell a Stila, Um which is which is big. You know, getting that getting that play right is big. Um because uh it basically it's the like a cell Stila needs to be like really fucking healthy for it to uh be able to PP stall the Toxapex enough where like the combination of Venu and and um Peck skin stall it out, but you know, at at twenty percent, I don't know if that's gonna be happening. Um so probably see a seed and a skull, that's what I'm guessing. If you're if if you're so this is it's like you have to double seed here, I think, right? I, I mean, protect, I guess, too. So he does protect. He does not double seed. And I believe that is going to be a GG. Because, um, you know, the Celesteela is going to die to a Scald now. Because they can't, uh, it can't get C's recovery before it dies to a Scald. Um, and, you know, the Pex is just going to all sell the Venusaur. That's the way she goes. Four minutes left, guys.
don't worry. We're, we got, we're, we're almost home to, this, to game two. We're almost there. Bro, I'm so tired right now. Bro, how's it only been like a minute since I last checked like how much time there was left in the video? Feels like it's been a fucking eternity. Hold on, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get a water. I'll be right back. The gallon of water. Shit is lit -y as hell. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? So, as you can see, we have some tactical PP stun going on right now. Expert plays by both players. This is a pretty well well played game by Ojama. Um, obviously, Empo played well too, seeing as he's going to going to win. Um, but you know, for Ojama's tough matchup, he, I would say he played very, 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 very well. Yeah, so for fucking Ojama to win right here, he'd have to stall the pecs out of Scalds. Like, before his Venu, like, ran out of everything. And that's just not gonna happen. So, that boy, that boy Empo hit, hit him with the GG. You know, Doc Rich is not keeping up with the fucking, uh, keeping up with turns. Because that boy is slow as hell. But yeah, this shit is over. Lanes. Anyways, um, matchup advantage, you know, um, you know, typically I feel like when it, when you have a team as slow as Ojama's, generally if the opposing team has like a lot of setup sweepers, you really got to give that team the advantage. I feel like it's just really tough when uh, you can just get like, like one boost and you're sort of just um, snowballing from there. Um, I mean, that's that's what I think. I mean, obviously, Ojama is a really good player. He played the last game very well. Unfortunately, got um, screwed by some hacks. But, um, you know, he, ha he definitely probably has the tools to sort of make this a game. But I'd have to give the advantage to uh, Mr. Versace over there. Um, oh, wow. It's, I was going to say we're probably going to have to see a, um, a encore from that. Uh, Shuckle after that after that flare blitz, but um, you know it's actually red card. That's a 
really nice set, really well played by uh, Empo there, and he's got both his hazards up, and he's ready to get shit rocking. Um, so we see the uh, the Nine Tails as the quintessential counter to Greninja. Um, that unfortunately takes fifty percent. So depending on the role here, um, and depending on the set, like is that specs damage? Like I don't I don't know calcs, but. Like that to me, that doesn't look specs damage. So if I'm thinking like if I'm Ojama and maybe it's not specs, maybe it's Z move. You you use your Z move right here and guarantee the fact that you get your your shit off. Oh wow, that's really unfortunate. Ojama is not getting very lucky in these sets, um, but uh, it, he unfortunately does have to take a Hydro to the face, and he, um, instead of sacking the one percent nine tails, he keeps it to potentially set up Veil or set up Hail again. <laughs> And instead, Sex is Shuckle. Now he brings in the Gyarados, um, probably Mega Formation Gyarados, and um, we'll see what happens. Um, I I don't know about you guys, but I might have stayed in there. I don't know, maybe I'm bad. Because if you're Haze Pecs, I feel like you can, you could like like if you're Specs. Uh, I don't I don't know I don't know. I guess I'm just like not paying attention enough, but and I'm also bad, but yeah, I don't know. If you're uh, so he does get off a good chunk of damage with the discharge on on um, on the Gyarados, but unfortunately he loses his Zapdos in the process. Um, if he is Haze Pex, um, this shouldn't be that huge of an issue, I'm thinking. But um, obviously, uh, whenever you never want to lose a defensive Mon, especially against a team with um, stacked full of setup supers, like every Mon is sort of very important. And that crunch did a, a shit ton. But he is Haze Pex. Um, so this is going to be doing significantly less of a crunch. But now he shows the substitute. And this is looking really ugly for um, Ojama. Because he essentially has to dumpsters Pex. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, he has to, sorry, I was laughing at something. Uh, he has to dumpsters Pex uh, and like continually Haze in order to like get out of this with the the um Gyarados having no boosts which is very important in order for him to revenge kill it and like he could be like obviously if he's like scarf Lando or scarf Jirachi like both those outspeed the Gyarados at plus one but I don't know if that's like you you want to you're your plan the plan of action you want I guess like I guess you could go if you're like scarf Lando you could like you turn into a you turn your, into your Greninja and hope like that he maybe he predicts the U-turn double DDs and then um, and then you can just Shuriken after that. But um, yeah, he's definitely gonna have to just continually haze with this Pex and hope that uh, hope that he has some some nice counterplay without uh, losing too many Mons because you know obviously the Migirn is looking like a really big threat. The the Zygarde's looking like a really big threat. So. It's it's looking tricky for our boy, our hero, Ujama. He goes hard into Garen, and, and uh, yeah, this looks like it's going to be a wrap. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't shirk in there, but um, yeah, this is not looking good for our hero, Ujama. Because this dies, so he has to switch out to get regen, so he sacks his Zard. And, um, oh, oh, and he DDs, smart play, smart play. Uh, I guess that was pretty obvious, but um, yeah. So this this is a, a nice little Gyarados sweep. Nice, nice that this game is a lot faster than the other one. I don't have to kill myself by trying to commentate over a Venusaur PP stall. But you know, that was a GG. Well played by Ojama, honestly. Even though he lost two zero, like the second he couldn't really do anything about the second game. You know. Um, he just had a really bad matchup, and he had a bad matchup first game, and he played it about as well as you could. It just things sometimes, sometimes games don't really work out, you know. Anyways, this is your boy Avon providing the worst commentary commentary you've ever heard. Actually, besides Celia, Celia's fucking trash. Um, anyways, yeah. So signing out. Peace.